If you like Woody Harrelson, you should definitely watch our picks for his best movies. Yes, indeed it has, and I do appreciate that trip down memory lane. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Solo, A Star Wars Story, 2018. I guess I'll have to destroy that little guy. Somehow I never get bored with winning. Prior to the events of A New Hope, this installment explores the early adventures of Han Solo and Chewbacca, who together join a heist in the criminal underworld. Solo is a 2018 space western film directed by Ron Howard and starring Alden Ehrenreich as Han Solo alongside Woody Harrelson, Emilia Clarke, and Donald Glover. This is the story of how the legendary Han Solo meets his future co-pilot Chewbacca and came to be known as the galaxy's most notorious smuggler. Captain Lindo Karazin. Han Solo. Looks like you're uh, having a good day. I'm a lucky guy. Can I ask you a question, Captain Calrissian? Anything, Han. It's Han, but that's okay. Number 9. The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, 2013. Oh, shit. Can you, can you do that? He can't, but he did. The Hunger Games Catching Fire is a 2013 dystopian science fiction adventure film directed by Francis Lawrence and stars Jennifer Lawrence, Josh Hutcherson, Liam Hemsworth, Woody Harrelson, and Elizabeth Banks. Katniss Everdeen safely returns home after winning the 74th Hunger Games alongside her colleague, Peter Malark. They embark on a victor's tour of the districts. On the way, Katniss feels that a rebellion is bubbling, and when the 75th annual games begins, Katniss's life will change forever. How about I shoot both of you? Look, Commander, you're new here. Trust me, I'm trying to help you. I'm Hainich. You recognize her? Katniss Everdeen, darling of the capital. Number eight, Natural Born Killers, 1994. Her name's... Mallory. Mallory, whatever. Who gives a shit? I call it pussy. Natural Born Killers is a 1994 satirical black comedy crime film directed by Oliver Stone and stars Woody Harrelson, Juliette Lewis, Robert Downey Jr., Tom Sizemore, and Tommy Lee Jones. A young couple united by their desire for each other and their common love of violence embark on a record and exceptionally bloody massacre that captivates the tabloid media hungry for sensations. Natural Born Killers will completely alienate many viewers with its shock tactics, chaotic approach, and disturbing subject matter, while others will appreciate the combination of technical virtuosity and bleak comments on the modern American landscape. There is no escaping here! Who's the lucky one? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a redneck by its toe. Number 7. The People vs. Larry Flint, 1996. I have fashioned this American flag into a diaper because if you're gonna treat me like a baby, I'm gonna act like one. The People vs. Larry Flint is a 1996 biographical drama film directed by Milos Forman and stars Woody Harrelson, Courtney Love, and Edward Norton. Larry Flint is a controversial pornography publisher of Hustler magazine. The movie spans about 35 years of Flint's life from his impoverished upbringing in Kentucky to his court battle with Reverend Jerry Falwell. It recounts his struggle to make an honest living publishing his magazine and how it changes into a battle to protect the freedom of speech for all people. Are you a religious man? Yeah. Okay, you believe God created man? Yeah. God created woman? Yeah. But then surely the same God created her vagina. And who are you to defy God? Just shoot her. Number six. Now You See Me 2013. That's very nice. I'm, yeah. I'm touched. Yeah, just from the heart. Well, I didn't tell you where I was touched. Oh, you. The film covers an elite FBI team in a cat and mouse game against the Four Horsemen, one of the world's most illustrious super teams. Now You See Me is a 2013 heist thriller film directed by Louis Leterrier and stars Mark Ruffalo, Jesse Eisenberg, Isla Fisher, David Franco, and Woody Harrelson. 
The four riders perform a series of bold robberies against corrupt corporate bosses during their performances, raining stolen earrings at their hearings while staying one step ahead of the law. Everyone in this room was a victim of the hard times that hit one of America's most treasured cities. Some of you lost your houses, your cars, your businesses, your loved ones, but all of you were insured by the same company. Number five. War for the Planet of the Apes 2017. Have you finally come to save your apes? I can't bring you. War for the Planet of the Apes is a 2017 science fiction film directed by Matt Reeves and stars Andy Serkis, Woody Harrelson, and Steve Zahn. Caesar and his primates drive into a destructive confrontation with a multitude of people led by a military officer appointed by insensitivity. Since the adventure finally puts them in the eye, Caesar and the designated soldier are dug against each other in an epic struggle, which can affirm the fate of each their species and the way forward for the Earth. They told me you were smart, but that's impressive. No, they won't be joining me. They are against you. They fear me. Why? Because you kill your own men. Number four, Seven Pounds, 2008. What's your first name, Mr. Thomas? Ben. Ah. No order for Ben Thomas. Seven Pounds is a 2008 drama film directed by Gabriel Muccino and stars Will Smith, Rosario Dawson, Michael Ely, Barry Pepper, and Woody Harrelson. Haunted by a secret, Ben Thomas seeks for redemption by radically changing the lives of seven people he does not know. Once his plan is set, nothing can stop him. At least that's what he thinks. But Ben hadn't planned on falling in love with one of these people. Will she eventually turn him? Ben, I think you have the wrong impression here. I'm gonna stop by from time to time, make sure you're showing these people some goddamn respect. This is a misunderstanding, okay? Don't treat people like that. Let me explain, okay, Ben? I'm not, not giving you an extension. Ben! Number three, Zombieland 2009. Not just any box of Twinkies, the last box of Twinkies that anyone will enjoy in the whole universe. The timid and introvert Columbus is forced to join an experienced zombie killer named Tallahassee to survive the zombie apocalypse. Zombieland is an American post-apocalyptic zombie comedy film directed in 2009 by Ruben Flesher and stars Jesse Eisenberg, Woody Harrelson, Emma Stone, and Abigail Breslin in lead roles. As Tallahassee plans to find the last Twinkie on Earth, the duo will meet Wichita and Little Rock, two girls who have used some unusual technique during the chaos. What do you think? Zombie kill of the week? Number two. No Country for Old Men, 2007. Did I ask you to sit? No, sir, but you struck me as a man who wouldn't want to waste a chair. No Country for Old Men is a 2007 neo-Western crime thriller film written and directed by Joel and Ethan Cohen and stars Tommy Lee Jones, Javier Bardem, Josh Brolin, and Woody Harrelson. A drug deal has gone wrong, and a serial killer is set on a journey to catch the culprits. The senior old inspector of the town is passionate enough to catch the horrific antagonist, but the concern from the retrospect comes in his way. He infers why this country was not for the old men. Could he be the next target of the serial killer? Do you have any idea how crazy you are? You mean the nature of this conversation? I mean the nature of you. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. If it was a genuine error, Cerise, if it wasn't your fault and he just run off, why did you run off, have us piss away 12 hours just to find your fat ass? <laughs> you love your dog so much, Mr. Costello, when you're such an angry type person. Dad. A veteran of the U.S. Air Force brings his little girl in here so you can wrap her in a Band-Aid and hand him a bill for more than a pilot makes in a year. Now, my family won't eat for three months so that you can drive a Cadillac. Uh, okay, goodbye. That, I, I know this can't be easy for you. If you have any further questions, just... No, 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 thanks. Number one. 
three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri, 2017. Right now, there ain't too much more we can do. Could pull blood from every man and boy in this town over the age of eight. Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri is a 2017 drama film written and directed by Martin McDonough and stars Frances McDormand, Woody Harrelson, Sam Rockwell, Abby Cornish, John Hawks, and Peter Dinklage. In an effort to wake up call the authorities to solve her daughter's rape and murder, Mildred Hayes has three billboards erected outside her town of Ebbing, Missouri. This causes a largely adverse and diverse reaction amongst the people in her town. Not least of all the sheriff's deputy, the hot-headed Jason Dixon. Hey, fuckhead! What? Don't say what, Dixon, when she comes in calling you a fuckhead? And don't you Shut come up! in here... You get over here. No. You get over here. All right. What? Don't, Dixon! Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments below. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.